Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. At last, NVIDIA has released the weights of Haimba 1.5 billion instruct model and in this video I am going to not only get it locally installed and play with it but also I believe more importantly we will look at its architecture because there is something different about this model which I am going quite keen to explore and as is the spirit of the channel I am going to explain these terms about its architecture in as simple words as possible so I'm sure that you are going to enjoy it so before I move forward let me give a huge and quick shout out to Agent QL who are sponsoring this video Agent QL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with the power of AI and I will drop the link to their website in videos description okay so let's first ex explore what this model is Haimba 1.5 Instruct is a 1.5 billion parameter model which has been fine-tuned from its base Haimba model using a combination of open source instruction data sets and internally collected synthesis data sets by NVIDIA. And then NVIDIA supervised fine-tuned it and also used direct preference optimization which means that it was given um, an instruction or a question and then a preferred or a rejected answer so it is more aligned to human preferences it is capable of many complex and important tasks like math reasoning function calling and role playing this model is ready for commercial usage by the way license is released under nvidia's open model license which is a bit restrictive but i would highly suggest you to go to their model card and then read through the licensing terms if you are looking to use it commercially and i will drop the link to it in video's description now let's have a quick look at its architecture so this model um, has an embedding size of 1600 what it means is that um, the number of dimensions used to represent input data for example text as a numerical vector so those dimensions or embeddings are 1600 then it has um, around 25 attention heads attention head is a component of transformer architecture that helps the model focus on specific part of the input data and then um, it uses mlp intermediate dimension as 5504 which is the number of dimension used in the intermediate layer of the model so in the model what happens is we have an input layer on the left output layer to the very right in between we have all these intermediate layers and that is where this mlp or multi-layer perceptron happens which is and these layers are around more than 500 and um, 5500 and then the total number of layers are the actual layers are 32 and then also it uses a component of model that helps track and manage sequential data for that it uses SSM state and that is what is quite unique about it so not only it has attention heads it also has got state space heads which is primarily taken from the Mamba architecture and that is really very interesting for me uh, because this is something I have hardly seen in other models so that is why uh, I'm quite interested to see that when SSM or attention or SSM or transformer meet what happens there and then we have the usual stuff there for example it also uses full attention layers the layers which that consider all input data when computing attention weights it also is using SWA or sliding window attention it is a technique that limits the attention mechanism to a fixed size window of input data and it helps in reducing the computational cost as I said it uses a hybrid attention model with both um, the hubs um, you know transformer attention and mamba and then it also uses grouped query attention this groups the queries together to reduce computational cost again and really improves efficiency it also uses a rope or rotary position embedding which is a type of positional embedding that uses rotary matrices to encode positional information i know this is a bit of a mouthful but i would highly suggest that you just search with rope on my channel and you should be able to find a lot of videos around it so this is what is happening here now if you look at this diagram for example um, primarily this is using the this is fusing the attention head and ssm heads within the same layer and that offers parallel and complementary processing of the same input 
it also introduces meta tokens that are prepended to the input sequence and interact with all the subsequent tokens so what happens is that it stores all the imp important information and it removes the burden of force to attend in attention so really really good stuff here simple yet quite powerful and intriguing but i think the proof will be in the pudding so i'm just going to install it locally now and show you how it works let me take you to my terminal so i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gp of vram courtesy masked compute if you're also looking to rent a gpu on very affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description and i am also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount for range of gpu so do check them out so this is my nvidia card let me as usual create a virtual environment so that I could keep everything separate let's wait for it and now let's install all the prerequisites and make sure that you're installing transformers from the source because it's a very new model and you would need that version of the latest version of transformer so that it could get supported and now i am launching my jupyter notebook And now let's import the libraries and download this Haimba 1.5 model. And the model has started downloading. As you can see, the size is just over 3 gig, which is really good for this hybrid model. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. Okay, so the model is loaded. Let's do the inference with it. Thankfully, the inference is similar to what we see in other models where we are just getting the prompt. We are tokenizing it with a tokenizer and then we are using the model to generate the output with some of the hyperparameters and then we are printing the response back. So let me run it and I will input the prompt this time. Now I'm going to ask it a very simple question as who discovered the theory of gravity? Let's run it and let me also show you the VRAM consumption. It is con consuming over 6 GP of VRAM around 6.4. Not bad for a model. Slightly higher than what you would expect from a 1.5 billion model, but then it's a hybrid one, so that is fine. Still should be able to work on commodity hardware anyway. So you see, the model's response look of quite good quality. That the theory of gravity was first formulated by Isaac Newton and then the book too. So if you quickly read through it, the answer is of very, very good quality. Very, It's very short, succinct, but quite comprehensive, I would say. Okay, let's see if it is multilingual. I'm going to ask it that translate I love you in Arabic, Hindi, Thai, Swahili, Urdu, Korean. Sorry, not this. Okay, let me press enter here. I'm just trialing this input, so let's wait for it to come back. Okay, so it has produced some of the answers. Spanish looks good. The other ones are okay as far as Google Translate is telling me. Uh, but Urdu doesn't go. It's not good. I'm not sure about Swahili. So if you are a native uh, speaker of these languages, please confirm, uh, confirm that if they are okay or not. Okay, so that is done. Let's also check out the quintessential uh, question that break the word strawberry into a list of letters and then I must get count the number of occurrences of the character R in that list, list. So let's see. So like most of the other models, it has also failed that test, which is fine. Um, now, the thing is that, uh, sorry, uh, my apologies, it has passed the test. Now, what I want to uh, test is the math mathematical one. So it seems that I'm getting suspicious that most of the models are now getting it right. So maybe it is uh, sort of they are purp on purpose training this uh, those models on this one anyway, maybe. Let's try out a math question. So I'm asking it to solve this equation. The correct answer is 20. And there you go. So not only it has given us the answer, but also it has shown how exactly it has reached to that step by step really good stuff i mean i was not expecting the small model to show me the whole chain of thought okay so let's try out another one in this one i'm asking it a coding question to show me a python script that draws the mendel broad set which is a geometrical problem 
and there you go yet another quality answer so it is telling me we need to install matplotlib and then if you go through the code looks really cool and it has cut it off because the max new tokens are uh, 256 but i can already tell that this is really really good stuff okay let's try out one code repair question for the code repair i have just given it this javascript code and i'm asking it to fix the error in it so let's see and there you go you can see it has given us the synopsis of the code then the javascript and then also without asking it is saying me that if you're looking for a python solution there you go so you have a, a double barrel stuff here so really really good stuff so very impressed by the model let me know what do you think the size is very very uh, i would say enticing if i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.